All right, ladies and gents, here we are again. And you can see on screen, it's the latest project, the PI Polonis, or Polish PI. Um, the board that I have was done by Jean Friedis. Um, I believe he is from Brazil. Um, this was his board layout, and um, a little bit confusing. It looks like there's some errors in the bill of materials, and uh, one of the capacitors is not connected to ground, but uh, we're going to work through it. Uh, the instructions that I found are actually from Lucas Labs, uh, a defunct Polish site. So I'm working with translated set of instructions. A little bit confusing, but it looks like it's going to be a good project. Uh, this is a very popular pulse induction detector in South America especially, and Central America as well. And I look forward to getting started on it. What I'm going to do first is the, I should say, are the plus and minus 5 volt supplies. All right, back in a bit. All right, back here with the uh, PI Polonis, Polish PI. We have the positive 5 volt and negative 5 volt um, power supplies built. Uh, they are anchored by, for the negative, a 79L05 for the negative 5 volts and a 7805 for the positive 5 volts. Uh, we've got a NE555 as part of the charge pump circuit. And you can see uh, four diodes here and a couple of resistors and the rest are all caps. Um, I've broken up the 12 volt power supply down here with because they, they had the pins separated strangely on this board so uh, I've put a Molex wafer here and another one down here and that's that's how I did it okay so we are going to check the uh, plus and negative voltage supply. I'll try to do this keeping my hand out of the way. Uh, here we got a negative 5 volts on IC1. That's pin 4, so that's negative 5. And positive 5 volts on pin 7. Um, and then once again, over here, on the other IC, this is IC3, and we're looking for negative 5 volts on pin 4 and positive 5 volts on pin 7. Okay, so the, the next thing in, in line here is to uh, wind up a coil for this. I'm going to shoot for something right around 300 microfarads and I think that's it. Oh, one other thing to, to add is that on this board um, capacitor C21 here one of the legs wasn't joined to anything. It has the through holes in it but uh, you need to scratch off back to the the ground plane on the rear of the board and just attach uh, one of the legs over the ground so that that was a an error in the design and fabrication of the board okay on to making the coil